Welcome everyone. I think you'll find that I have a great video for you today that again proves the earth is indeed flat. So I received this wonderful email from a subscriber named Lee with several flat earth evidence videos that I'm going to share with you today. I just love receiving these emails from people who are inspired to go out and test the shape of the earth themselves. I especially love this one because it included a husband and wife research team exemplifying what true independent science should be. I truly lament the fact that mainstream science has devolved from the pursuit of truth into a phony faith-based atheistic religion founded on diktat, top-down conformity, control, worthless degrees, and ridiculous theories devoid of experimentation, the scientific method, objectivity, observation, and common sense. But that's why we're here. We need to change all of that. And only the grassroots flat earth scientific revolution can do that, in my opinion. Now, these flat earth tests I'm going to present here today are fantastic and should cause any thinking reasonable person to clearly see that the globe does not match our reality. Before I get into the evidence, this is my email address. Please email me if you would also like to share your genuine flat earth experiments, observations, videos, or your professional experiences regarding the flat earth. If they're good and I have the time, I'll try to share them with others. I don't make any money for my channel and I have nothing to sell you whatsoever. I'm only here to share the truth to the best of my ability and build friendships with those few people who still love truth, regardless of its popularity. But let's get to those several amazing flat earth tests proving the earth is demonstrably flat. The first test we're going to look at was at Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. The laser and the high zoom camera were separated by a whopping distance of 16.4 miles. The laser was at four feet above the water and the Nikon camera was set at two feet above the water. But there is also some cell phone footage of the laser at just inches above the water that I'll share in a bit. This is how the laser and the camera were set up far across from each other. I have the coordinates for the laser and the camera listed here, and the distance between the two points was 16.42 miles. At a laser height of 4 feet and a distance of 16.42 miles, according to their globe math, the observer would have to be at an amazing 130 feet above the water to see the source of the laser because the curvature of the Earth should be blocking his view. But it's not. In other words, you'd have to be at least as high as this 130-foot statue to see the source of the laser if we truly lived on a globe. Instead, the camera gets as low as inches above the water, and the source of the laser is still visible. Let's watch the footage of the laser, 16.42 miles away, and I'll also include the cell phone footage synchronized with the Nikon footage. Okay, you're right. Oh yeah, yeah, flash, flash, oh, almost right on. Can you put it on steady? Oh, right in the camera. To your right a little bit. Oh, flash right there, yeah. Back left. Oh, flash, yeah, oh, dude. You're nailing it. Back to your right. Okay, to your left. You're coming around. Left, left, left. Here it comes. Down a bit. Boom. Can you keep it there? Yeah, I'll leave it there. Uh, so how high are you off the water? Four feet. Yeah, I'm two, two and a half feet here. So can you keep playing around? Like I can see the laser, just see if you can get it back and forth and get it right in my camera. Oh yeah, there. Uh, I gotta see how low I can get the cell phone down on the ground. See how I can see. Uh, yeah.
Okay, I got the cell phone at the laser and I'm one foot off the water, six inches off the water. Yeah, three inches off the water. Cell phone, hand touching the water. And yeah, pretty good, bud. That's <laughs> nice. I love it. Um, yeah. Just yeah, give me a few more flashes, and then we'll we'll call it a night. You saw all this go back and forth left and right? Yeah, it's like I could tell you. Down a bit, down. Did you see how the laser was visible by the cell phone only inches above the water? Under the globe model, he would have to be 130 feet above the water to see that laser. Without question, this lake is 100% flat. And that's impossible under the globe globe busted now let's take a look at the 10.4 mile test because the footage is fantastic in this case they went to a different lake called slocan lake about 100 miles away from okanagan lake this is where lee is joined by his supportive and wonderful wife who is holding the flashlight even at 10.4 miles and a flashlight height of six inches the curvature of the earth should still hide 61 feet. But there isn't anything hidden. Let's watch. We can't use the walkie-talkies. Yeah, I can still see the light. It's crazy. Okay, Lee. Can you still see it? Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we are... Actually, I'd say we're half a foot above the water. Perfect. Hey, Mom. Okay. Yeah? You know the little, like, kind of clam thingies we have? Okay, we're gonna there, zoom out. I found a piece of one on the beach. Oh, awesome. Hey, listen, I don't want to run our battery down. Don't okay. worry about it, Avin. We're almost done. Okay. And this is where we are. We'll look around. And there we go. After the flashlight test, they pulled out the laser. I enjoy this one because the reflection of the laser is on the water. Another impossibility on an alleged curved surface. Okay, stop. God, you've been flashing me. You're almost blinding me. You're right there. Right, right there. That's it, buddy. That's it. Here I got both cameras going. Yeah, you're hitting it right on. Alright, I'm gonna put on strobe. 10-4. I copy the strobe. I didn't copy that. That was awesome. Finally, I'm going to show you one more test that Lee just performed a few days ago at the same 10.4 mile location. This time, the laser is at a mere one foot above the water, meaning 57 feet should be hidden behind the curvature. In this next video, Lee has a camera here at 1.5 feet. Look closely. Do you think that he's filming a mirage of a laser that's actually hidden behind the curvature of the earth? Or does Lee have a direct line of sight to the laser? It's obvious that is not a mirage. That is a direct line of sight to the laser source. Now he sets the camera to just inches above the water. The 
this is with the camera resting right on top of the rocks. Now that is your flat earth reality right there. No question about it. Thank you everyone for watching. And I encourage everyone to share Lee's evidence. Well, with everyone. As always, you're welcome to mirror this video and share it in any way you want. No credit to me is necessary. This is only about spreading the truth. May God bless you with an unquenchable desire to know and share his truth, whatever it may be. Love to all.